Mine's standing. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is February 4th, 2013, time is 7 p.m. The regular meeting of Greenberg Common Council is called to order. It's time to question all cell phones, etc. electronic devices, be silenced, please. brothers and sisters. I guess I'm, I'll just make a comment on some of these. You know, I think we have a lot of worthwhile organizations, but I think at the same time we have to look at, you know, it's not it's not my money or your money we're spending, we're spending the money from the taxpayers and the citizens of Greensboro. So I think it's really important that we, we do the right thing, one, for the community, but two, um, you know, some of these organizations have to start working to become self-funding and Ten thousand is is quite a bit for that request. I, I just I can't see giving that amount of money. Well, it is from taxpayers, but it's from the gambling funds around the state. <coughs> what are you suggesting? Suggesting you have a uh, amount? Well, I mean, we gave three thousand last year. That's more than triple what we gave last year. Yeah, but I can explain the reason I come back with three thousand. They wait till the end of the year to see what. Less than what they thought possibly it would be. So, I don't know if they did the same thing this year or not. To add to that, they did, they had planned on looking for 10,000 the previous year. They, got, they didn't come until actually they forgot about the meeting. And <coughs> right. Um, so they waited to see what happened after the bowling. Big Brother, the bowling tournament. So I guess we saw, saw their numbers and where their shortfalls are, I don't know. 
I guess my, my thought process too is I'm, you know, going back and considering the budget and knowing where we're at with our budget and, you know, we're, you know, I think we're going to be struggling to maintain head counts and, and get raises and things like that. And then I think we turn around and we give money away to certain organizations. I, I just, I don't know, I, that's, that's my dilemma here. I, I think it's, you know, are we spending the money in the, are we doing the right thing with the money are we spending it for the best possible purposes um, I, I'm not saying it's not a worthwhile organization and some of these others and that's my dilemma that's my and Jamie there are uh, local government entities that don't pay it out of like River Boat or things of that nature what they pay out of is the general fund which means they put it on the tax rate of the residents really want to ever get to something like that because you put it in your budget and then February 15th comes in 1782 form and you're told that the DOJ has to reduce your budget. What do you do then? Do you cut equipment costs and manpower or do away contributions or cut contributions? It's something you look at. So Jamie, what do you have in mind? I mean, I just you know, I guess in my mind, I think, you know, one, the, the organizations have to start working to be self-funding. Uh, and so, two, I, I don't propose that we grant more money than what we have in the past. You know, may, if at anything, we give them what we gave them last year, but I think at some point in time, we have to start lowering that amount as well. And that's, that's my proposal. Um, and now you're going to have uh, other new organizations coming in asking for money as well this year. I, I just... I mean, it's that I mean, so at some point in time, I think we have to start encouraging organizations to be self-funding and, and put putting the line in the sand and moving towards that. That's just my opinion. That's well, my I, I understand it. Uh, so we're talking out loud here, just kind of walking through it, and making decisions here. We're just kind of sharing some thoughts. In the past, I understood that the amount was 10000 previously, not just this slide, not last year, but the year before that and the year before that. Am I correct on that? Uh, yes, you're correct. Was it? Yeah. <coughs> so what they're doing is they're coming back. I'm sure I'm not pretty sure. I'm, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I guess maybe I, I don't recall that, but it, yeah. that might be true. It might be true. I'm not what did we give in the past to a Big Brother? Before? We were given five, I think. Was it five? I think it was five. Okay. And we, I, I can't say for sure. I don't think you're on him, but I know what was this five. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. I can't give you 2011. I don't know. It was $7,500. $7,500 and 11? Yes. And so then it's 3000 and 12. Okay. We should go back to the minutes, but that's what I have. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, so the county gave them forty-eight hundred. Well, they do it a different way. They uh, pay their rent there on uh, South Michigan Avenue. They do that every year. Yeah, but the, so that comes out to be forty-eight hundred dollars. I think if we're going to cut, then we, we, we cut all of the organizations and we just don't pick and choose who we're going to cut. It, and I'm, I'm talking about the charitable organizations. That it, I'm excluding those that have anything to do with uh, economic development. I mean, well, yeah, I <laughs> on the one hand, that, makes, that seems reasonable. On the other hand, though, and that's just kind of um, treating everybody the same and okay, but everybody is different and different with different needs and different results and different purposes. So that kind of says, well, 
we don't make any decision about what the priorities there are, and, and that's what we're supposed to do. So I'm kind of, <clears throat> I think it's our prerogative to decide how much and for whom and for what. So I think you have any questions. I think your information is pretty clear here. I guess it's just the, the thought process of, you know, we spending the money in the proper manner, we're doing the right things with it, and I guess that's why I struggle with it in my mind. It's it's not about the, the documentation they provided or the organization. I think they're they're worthwhile and so that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying, you know, it, but I, I'm saying it's not my money, it's it's you know the, the community's money, and we got to make sure we're doing the right thing with it. Right. And are we making the right decision by giving this out? And that's what I'm struggling with, I guess. And I'm, so that's why I'm bringing it up, and we can sure. talk about it, discuss it. So you know, council, I don't know how much the big brothers and sisters take out their pockets to take care of the kids to help them. The time of the calls is for a very good cause. It keeps the people, the kids, growing up. comments aren't directed at big brothers, big sisters. I mean, there's others we're going to talk about too, but it's more, I mean, are we using the money that we're, we're, we're allocating here in the best possible way for the citizens of the community? And that's, that's what I'm wrestling with in my mind, and that's why I, that's why I made the comment. It's not, nothing to do with, is this a worthwhile organization? I, I agree with everything you these organizations as they come every year that you know they got to start asking for less or nothing at all and moving to, and we got to start progressing towards that and if we you know if we start giving more money every year then I think we're going down the wrong path and then we're going to add organizations 
that are going to continue coming in. And then next year, the list is going to be, we're going to have 30 worthwhile organizations that are all great, and we're not going to have the money to give to them. So I think it's, you know, I, here we can help you out for, you know, a couple of years, maybe a year, or whatever it is. And then you've got to start finding a way to be self-funding without that. I, I would think 5,000, I'm agreeable to that. Put that in the form of a motion and see if you get a second. <laughs> I'll make a motion that we uh, give the Big Brothers Big Sisters $5,000 out of, uh, when was it last year? Riverboat. Riverboat. <clears throat> I'll second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 I oppose, same sign. I'll make a motion that we offer Catch a Ride $4,000 out of the same fund as last year was at the Riverboat. I'd like to comment on that. That's fine. Uh, on the Catch a Ride, I think what we're seeing this year, just in, in their presentation, and what I've personally seen with Catch a Ride, we're seeing a lot more trips taking people to and from their employment. I kind of lean toward keeping it at 5000 because of, because of that. And if I may, um, I'm agreeing that mainly because what that does is really leverage real dollars for, uh, that are provided for that kind of service for people with handicaps or disabilities or um, elderly and others that need that service. <clears throat> so, I, while I know that's been this is an ongoing kind of thing, it has it been increasing, and it, um, I think it does leverage dollars. It, one of the things for that to maintain is to maintain its presence here, is um, for the community to show some support, and um, I think that that is not an extraordinary amount of. Uh, of money um, for the, the service that we're giving, so I would, I'd rather it stay. I guess my, my thought process too, though, is I mean, if it's people going back and forth to work and it's not the handicap, then I don't know why they can't look at their fare structure and charge an increased fare for those those personnel. Well, I mean, enough to compensate for their funding. I mean, if they're not making the funding. To, to be able to support the business, then look at raising your rates or other work and you make cuts in your budget, those kind of things to make your budget deficit smaller rather than coming and asking for money from us year after year. And I guess that's where my thought process is. I, it's, it's not the organizations. It's not that they're worthwhile. I, I just think we have to start pushing back and making them look at their business structure, look at how they're managing their funds, their income, their revenues and expenses, and managing it to where they, they can be more self-sufficient. And that's that's my thought process. But, I mean, if you guys think differently, I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. <coughs> Majority of the rides that, that we have here in, in uh, Peter County are uh, <coughs> disabled elderly and Adult disabled. Um, youth disabled. That's you know over ten thousand of the writers. Of the Fourteen thousand writers. I, I think it does. It is focused. I, I know that they do have. Or I was told. I was still under the impression that they have a problem that they do charge a fee based on uh, categories, I thought. Am I right? I think so, yeah. They do charge <coughs> more for people who are not handicapped. There's also individuals on there that have lost their license by the injuries and losing, and they're writing now to the crime office and they get them too, and they still maintain a job. Disabled uh, breakdown rider by type. Yeah, that was 
about 3,000, entirely non disabled, about 1,200. Adult disabled, 8,300. Mm -hmm. Adult non disabled, 1,800. Youth non disabled, 51. Totally disabled, 14,306. I guess I'm still okay. not in favor of giving more money than we did last year. Uh, that's, I think it's a great organization. Again, I, I, they're doing a lot of new things, but at the same point, we have to push back and force them to start looking at their budgets and, and being realistic with those numbers and how they get income, what expenses they have.
I mean, I, the, the county gave them 15 last year. We gave them 15 last year. I, I don't I don't think we should give them more than 15 this year. I think the county is open to giving 20. <coughs> this is a uh, this is another organization that's not again not that some organizations, churches, and others don't have ways that they can try to support families in crisis like this and do. Uh, families in a crisis like this um, really are <laughs> crisis and. Uh, I think what this does is, is Blake's question pointed out. I think it has ripple effects in terms of assisting and helping out the entire community in terms of our own responsibilities, whether that's just responding to crisis times or responding to more critical, more emergency type crisis as um, one thing that this they did is they they have gone out. They've been very ambitious about their program. They have been particularly <coughs> ambitious about coming out the grants and much other kinds of sources of income, not just the lines. Uh, they demonstrated the involvement of the community. Um, I'm I'm inclined to be supportive of. If not the full amount, at least in their, Gary mentioned the county may do 20, in their um, tentative budget, they had down the seat county of 1750, 17.5. So um, I would be willing to match. If the county did 20, I would be willing to do 20. If the county did 17.5, I would be willing to do 17.5. I don't have any concerns with that. I mean, I think we have. I to do. Move. I think you ought to get out and have some paper. A little more makes more money. Um, I, I, well, I guess you're right. I, I, I just don't have any concerns with cutting edit. I think that's a. You know, we 
really do need to, to push the EDC, and I, I think we need to build our community and make it a better place. What we also do, John, is we normally don't pay it and we up some. We pay it for the payments and most of those. So I would move uh, approval of PDC funding. Yes. Second. Yeah. Any further discussion? Oh, my sorry, mate. Damn. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Oh, same side. Motion passes. Next item is the Learning Center. That was paid for from the bid last year, $15,000. They're asking for the same amount this year. It's my opinion that we do not cut that continue to $15,000. It's all job related. Is that a motion? Yes, that's a motion. I'll second. Any further discussion? I'm not yet. But yes. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Both same sign. <coughs> Next item is Main Street Greensburg. Uh, they asked for 30000 as we gave last year. As you see, the downtown is more holy. Uh, I think we may gain a few businesses uptown. Is that correct, Brian? Discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes. The last item on the agenda, but why? We are a new contribution requester that we requested $20,000. This is an organization that does very good for a lot of good for our community. Um, there are other organizations, both uh, primarily, I guess, church organizations that do a number of things like this. Some very identical to other forms of providing meals. We've got meals on meals that do, which is a little different because it's giving to a different audience than this audience. <clears throat> so, uh, they've been operating pretty well on their own. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a, uh, a news uh, way of thinking. Maybe this is a, an opportunity to give them a little boost to get back on their feet. Um, 
but I'm not inclined to do the whole amount. What fund would we take that out of Riverboat? Yeah. I'll make a motion that we give the Red and White 5000 out of the Riverboat Fund. Second. Can I offer a friendly amendment? Yes. That money is stipulated to you not be used for the parking lot since that's going to be consensus here in my right? Yeah, absolutely. I agree. received uh, in your council packets um, a draft uh, ordinance, uh, a new site ordinance that uh, staff and a committee and the planning commission have worked for about two years on um, to get it to this point. And it's up in front of you for the first reading. And I think at this point, as president of the planning commission, I'll let Glenn tell you in more about the process it's come through. Thank you, Gary. Um, may I, Gary? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it has been a work in progress for um, quite some time, and we think we've made progress. Um, what you have before you is a, um, not completely totally new, but radically different than what the old one was. First thing you'll notice is there's a lot more, a lot more definitions. The primary purpose was to upgrade the sign ordinance, and I do think we did that with the help of um, people in the business, particularly Sean Green, and uh, with the help of the experience of Gary Murray and uh, Chris Stephen and the members of the Planning Commission, uh, their collective experience and business. So, we think we've got something that's presentable, at least. Uh, if it's a little 
leave it to you to uh, refine it. Uh, just a couple of things that are different. As I said, there's a lot more definitive kinds of terms in it than we've done previously uh, because the design industry has changed quite a bit. For one thing, we'll have with the electronic message centers on their boards. Um, so we've updated those, expanded those. Um, you'll see some changes in the uh, window signs or exempt now. We're talking about political signs. We're asking them to be removed in a timely fashion. Um, we've expanded the number and location of signs uh, in a number of places. Um, we have moved signs to allow them to be closer to the right of way uh, in a lot of instances. Um, Although always keeping in mind the triangle distance, the distance that it doesn't block um, egress and ingress with regard to um, blocking obstructing views for driving and drivers. Um, we have temporary signs uh, defined and some changes there. Um, so my um, overall purpose tonight is to give you just a quick highlight and ask Chris to fill in some gaps that I may have missed. The second thing I'd like for us to do is, I would like for us to pass on a first reading tonight to get the process moving, but uh, really use next our next meeting to have uh, public feedback, um, as well as uh, your questions and comments after you've had time to read it and study it further. Uh, that we can then hear from the public, hear from what you have to say, and then uh, refine it based on that uh, for maybe a second or third reading um, in April or whenever it's... Um, I know that for some it's been a long time coming, and uh, it was, <laughs> but um, I'd rather take a couple more months to get it right than to hurry it and have to re or correct it in another too soon. So yeah. it's not a, it's not written in stone. It's yeah. obviously going to be able to be yeah. massaged and changed as and as time and conditions change, will change even further. Who is? So who is wanting it? Um, Chris, did I forget anything? Oh, okay. I'll just um, no. The only thing I would add is uh, okay. another area where there's somewhat significant changes in, is in the. Uh, Way the historic downtown district is addressed okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, as far as signage and its uh, treatment there. Uh, I would also <coughs> note to the council members that if any of you would like to have a copy of this electronically, uh, I'm happy to provide that to you. Uh, I have one of those. Other than that, I think you can hit all the highlights and <coughs> changes. I would also note that, that there's uh, pretty significant changes as far as just defining the scope of the various zoning uh, areas and how they treat signs in those areas. The, the, the historical district is really not a lot different from what current practice is. Current practice really said that it was, and then one of the proposed changes had um, tried to incorporate <coughs> the guidelines that the historic district has in reviewing signs uh, and putting it in the statute. And we, um, that became really just cumbersome and too binding uh, in terms of really being an effective way to handle it. So we've gone back to uh, it is a unique district, it has unique signage um, problems and opportunities and characteristics so that um, that will still be handled through the city but along with the guidelines from the historic uh, preservation commission, I guess. So that, that's um, I don't know if you got any questions, and if if um, I, I know I'm asking for a really public comment when we get some opportunity to get um, word out in the media that we want people to take a look at it. It's available, it will be available on the website, maybe available here, city hall with some copies, and people can pick it up. Uh, but if if we do have just a minute, and I will, I will ask asking to keep it to just two minutes, is if um, somebody who has spent a lot of time on this, if he could address the council. Uh, uh, Sean, would you be willing to uh, 
You got two minutes, my friend. <laughs> Please, no, I, you spent a lot of time with it. Uh, I think they would be willing to listen to my hear review. I think you guys done a great job and, you know, went by the facts a lot. And uh, we put our personal feelings to the side, which was very helpful. And um, I think everybody came together on uh, what's going to be good for businesses and for the community. So, you know, overall, I think it's it's came around the 360 from the beginning. and. It's been a pleasure working with you guys on it. The only thing I've seen, stuck out in the same song, it's the same. 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 They, they can these be improved, you know, some of our deals. But a comparison, same format, and see what we had, and what's been published for the next time, especially. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, table format at the end that has the different zoning districts and the numbers and sizes and things. I started putting that together today when the mayor asked me to do that, so I'll email that out to the council. Take my other minute. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I was just curious why we're, we're going backwards on, on bringing up another comparison chart. Oh, okay. We're giving the people uh, an opportunity to the council to see what we had and what improvements we're trying to make. I see. And if they have any questions or concerns on the particular okay. improvements or or sizes for what purpose. So okay. everybody understands and when they vote on something, they're educated on Okay. And if any other member wants any facts on where we came up with the charts, they weren't pulled out of our back pocket or because somebody builds signs for a living and uh, wants them bigger and better. Um, I made many comments, uh, which the city ran after every one of them, on making more restrictions towards things because my thought and ultimate goal is also to make it pleasing and, um, you know, it's, it's a win-win if it looks good and it's easy to read um, and it, it's large enough to be read safely. It's win-win for the business and it's win-win for the community, community for a visual effect. So anything I can do to help out or show you any facts, let me know. Thanks. Thank you, Sean. And as Councilman Tibby has said, a lot of times it's been on this, Sean has spent a lot of time coming in here and meeting. Heavy, Roy Middendor, Gary Murray, who else? No, all the commission members. Thank you, Mr. Looking through it. The lion's share of the work, I think, has been um, done by Chris and Gary and Sean, uh, <coughs> primarily, um, in terms of the level of time. And then we did this as a commission, uh, at the commission meetings primarily, and it was a long time responsibilities. <clears throat> Toward the end, it, we had to take, uh, it was just, um, as you can imagine, when you have a document this big with seven or eight people taking a look at it, everybody's got a slightly different take, and it, it takes some time to uh, bring that together into some consensus sometimes, or just to understand um, what's being provided. So, toward the end, we did have to take um, additional kind of a subcommittee to pull things together and uh, bring it to the, to the commission for support. I can say that I, I believe that the commission is, um, by consensus, strongly, uh, is, it provides us with a strong recommendation. And this is the recommendation. Um, so, uh, but that's not to say, as I said before, that that it may need some tweaks, it may need to be improved some other ways, and we get some fresh eyes looking, that's the other reason we want to move it away from us. We did some fresh eyes to look at it, and as I said, I think maybe some eyes even, again, getting some feedback from um, the business community, um, if they come in with questions or clarification, um, that'll, that can help us. Thank you.
entertain a motion um, to vote on this for first reading. So, so second. And that is ordinance number Two thousand thirteen dash one. Two thousand thirteen dash one. Do I have a motion? Second. 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 Any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those same side. Motion passes. Thank you. 